<laughs> the Pumpkin Vine Family Farm in Somerville, Maine. Owned by Kelly and Anil Rupchant. It is a beautiful 85 acre farm with forest and pastures where they have their dairy goats grazed during the night as weather permits. Why? Grazing at this time is much more beneficial to their health. Most of their pastures are a good distance from the farmhouse and are adjacent to the forest, as you can see here. Now Kelly, her son Kieran, and myself are walking toward the back pasture where you will see their goats and their great Pyrenees guardian dog, Donnie. Kelly explains the animal husbandry practices they use to keep their goats safe from possible predation. So yeah, so we have the um, solar charge fencing and we weren't able to do this until this year, keep them out all night, but, but the combination of the solar charge fencing, as you said, which the coyotes respect, and then the pasture palace, which is portable, and we can move it around to new grass as they eat it. And then we can keep them out all night because Donnie boy here keeps them safe at night. He stays with them. We bring him in, we tell him it's time to guard the goats and he jumps in and he goes over and he stays in the, mostly right around the dog house there, around the pasture palace. And then we will let him out in the morning, but he keeps them safe so I can sleep well at night, knowing that the, if I hear the coyotes that he's there. And he wouldn't heckle the like go after the coyotes, uh -huh. but he does bark a lot when he hears them howling. And I think that's between the fence and him, I think that's quite a deterrent yes. to keeping the goats safe at night. So I don't worry, I can sleep well at night now. It was Good. funny actually, I Good saw Johnny. coyote scat right in the middle of the trail where we yeah. walked them up the other day. I was walking up with somebody and the, somebody had pooped right in the path where we lead the goats. And I was like, yeah, we know you're here. <laughs> here also note the bond that Donnie has with Anil and Kelly. This bond between them gives a farmer the ability to farm successfully with carnivores on their farm. The guardian dog always on the alert as you witness here. So Kelly, how do you feel um, when you hear the coyotes howling in the evening and nighttime? I love it, honestly. It's, to me, it's like seeing the moon or watching the fog in the valley at night. It connects me. There's so much we miss about this landscape because we're busy working and doing our thing. So much passes by in the night, invisible because we don't hear them, so we don't even know they're there. So when I hear the coyotes, it's thrilling because for a moment I feel connected to them and their lives. I used to worry about the goats, but now that we have a guardian dog, I know that they'll be safe and I can just enjoy hearing their beautiful singing. The carnivore is no longer the enemy, but important member of the ecosystem of their farm. The day sleep fading light Coyotes are singing Ringing in the night I hear their song echo Through the soft country air Nature is playing her music so fair They travel as families
dogs hear coyotes and they answer the call, answer the call. Oh, coyotes, I hear your song. Teach us how to get along in a world where we need each other. Yeah.